Hi everyone, are you teaching using Zoom? I'm going to show you how to teach live with Zoom and OBS. Let's install OBS now on stage seminars. So we're going to install OBS. We're going to go to the OBS project dot com right there. We're going to find this window that says Windows or Mac or Linux. I'm installing it on a Windows machine today. So download it to your downloader folder or wherever you happen to store items on your computer. And I'm going to download it again. I've already downloaded it, obviously, because I've done some other tutorials with this. I click here to open it, or you might have to navigate to your download folder. Go ahead and click OK that uh, you want to install it. We have here that it's going to walk me through my installation. Next. And next. And it, I'm going to save it at the default location. Install. It's just going to overwrite things that I already have. It's OK because it would overwrite it anyway if I were updating it, but I happen to have the latest version. And now I'm going to launch it. OBS Studio 25.0.8 as of the end of August 2020. So this is what the OBS screen looks like when we open it and we've got it loaded. I'm going to make a few changes here to make this tutorial a bit easier. I have a scenes window down here. These are our main uh, interface windows down at the bottom. I'm going to move them all to the top simply because the pull down menus show up below my screen for the demonstration. So I'm just going to move these up here so it's a little bit easier to see. And here we go. So that was scenes, sources, audio mixer. We've got scene transitions and then controls. And we're going to cover each one of these windows, some more extensively than others for this tutorial. And I have more. So just uh, subscribe and like and click the little bell so that you're reminded when I post a new video. And leave me some comments down below letting me know what else I should be covering. So here on the left we have scenes, and you have to have at least one scene. And this is where we have a collection of what kind of shots we're going to use, what combinations of screens, whether it's this camera here or the camera that I'm about to load and show you how to load, PowerPoint, Google Slides, whatever it happens to be. Uh, I'm going to rename this scene as Start, just so that it uh, doesn't just say Scene. So Start. Here we go. I'm going to add another scene that I'm going to name single camera on me. So this is where I'm going to have a scene where I can just talk directly to my audience. Now again, there's no picture here, obviously, as you can see. So in sources, we need to add the source. So we're going to add a camera source. And in this case, I'm going to add a video camera. Uh, so I'm going to video camera capture device. And I'm going to lo name this Logitech C910, which is the webcam that I have. The, mock, the current one is a C920, which is a terrific camera. So here is uh, the window for the C910. Um, and you'll see that I have a green screen behind me. Yeah, I have a green screen. So I'm going to make some adjustments to this green screen so that we can get rid of it. So let's make this window bigger. Let's center it right in the middle somewhere, right about there. Let's uh, bring this side in. I'm going to crop it a little bit. Yeah. So I press Alt and slide the side in. There we go. And I don't need all this green screen over my head. The green screen filter will work better if there's less green around. And there we go. So there's my framing. Let's move this in the middle. And I can resize it again. Okay, let's apply a filter. So we're going to right click on the camera itself and go down to filters. And here we have a great number of filters and a lot of options here from this pull down menu. I'm going to choose the top one saying chroma key. I'll just leave it chroma key there. Um, and now the green screen goes away. Now in this preview window, you can see the bottom of the green screen here. But as you'll see here in the cropping window, it's already cropped it out. So we're applying, you know, a sort of a crop, a crop and a filter. And I can play with the green screen filters a little bit. See this green around my head, a little bit of a green halo. Let's see what it looks like against a black background. It's not so bad, but we can make adjustments here for smoothness. And now it goes way too far. We turn it down, not enough. So there's a few minor changes we can do to try and minimize all those extra effects. And there's um, uh, these buttons here. Anyway, you can play around with it and pretty get a really good effect on it. So I'll close that. 
and there's my uh, green screen is gone. This is again, there's a Logitech. The Logitech is not qu as quite as good as the Galaxy Note 4. I have an old cell phone that I'm using. That's this one here that I'm talking to you directly. And then up here I have the Logitech. So there's a difference in quality. Um, the Logitech is great for uh, conferences, phone calls, you know, that sort of thing. For my presentations, I like a little bit better camera. Let's add a sound device. So we're going to add this microphone right here. I'm going to go add audio input capture, an electro voice, EV20. Call that an EV20. And device. And this is hooked in through a blue icicle um, XLR to USB sound card adapter. So I have to pick the blue icicle because that's the actual input name of the device over there. And here we have, see the green lines here, testing one, two, three. Now I believe I have the setting for the Logitech, the microphone turned off. That's why there's no green lines here. But here I have the level settings into my audio mixer and I can change them down or I can go up and so on. Um, so now I have my audio and my video here in this window. Okay, so we have the scenes and we have sources. And we have the audio mixer. Let's add, I also have another camera that's sitting over here that I showed in my other video that I'm gonna show you in a while. Um, but I like writing down things. Oh, at the beginning of this video, I showed how I wanted to write things down. So let's add that camera. Let's add a new scene. This will be um, document. Actually, I'm going to call it sketchbook camera. All right. Now you'll see that all my sources went away. I don't have any more, but I still want a camera on me. So I'm going to go back to this one. I'm going to right click on the Logitech. I'm going to copy it. And here in the sketchbook camera, I'm going to paste it. Okay, but in this one, I want to move myself off to the side and smaller. So here, I'm going to move myself over here. Now I'm going to add my document camera, which is a video capture device. And I'm going to write down Panasonic camera. Okay, and now I have to choose it's coming into a USB video capture card. So it's one of these two here, and that's the wrong one. That's a second document camera that I have set up. There's the one I want. So that's this one, it's sitting right there. And this is where I wrote down uh, Teach Live that you saw at the beginning of the video. So I'll click OK. And now I've got um, my document camera here. And I want to make it a little bit smaller and move it up to the middle. Bring it a little bit there. There we go. So I have me on the side, and I can be writing things down, and I can explain things um, with my pen and such. And I have me next to it. Now, that other camera that I have is a wide shot. So this is the sketchbook camera. I'm going to rename this to close, and now I'm going to copy this. I'm going to right click and duplicate this, and I'm going to change this to wide. There we go. I'm going to go into my wide. I'm going to delete the Panasonic camera. Yes, and I'm going to add the other camera, video capture device. Uh, and this is a little uh, extreme, like a GoPro knockoff camera. There's a link to it on Amazon down to below. It's a very inexpensive camera. It's handy. It does the job well. Video cam. All right. Okay. And now I go grab the other USB video input. There we go. Now this one has... You'll see it has the date and it has the time, and um, I don't really need that to be there. So I'm going to crop that out. So I'm going to click on, uh, press my Alt key and pull down and crop down the camera info. 
and crop up the camera info. And now I can make the whole thing a little bit smaller. So that's a wide shot of the camera. Okay. So now um, I can switch between these two just by clicking on the picture up on the scenes. I can go you know, close up and I can go wide so that I can explain more stuff um, and close up and then I can be on me and so on. So that's how those, those work. They're kind of handy. Um, let's add a PowerPoint. So let's make this scene PowerPoint or Keynote or Google Slides, you know, what have you. Um, let's go up to here. We're going to grab the Panasonic camera. We're going to copy that, go into Power there, this one, and we're going to paste it. I grabbed the wrong one. Let's delete that. Go back. Let's go up to here. Logitech, right. Logitech, copy. Here, paste referenced. There we go. Let's add a window, a window capture. PowerPoint. Yep, it's already, oh, it's being used because you can't have a, a, a source that name the same as a scene. It doesn't work that way. So I'm going to do a window. PowerPoint window. There we go. Now I have to pick the right place. And I go down to PowerPoint right there. And there is my PowerPoint. Now it's not running a, a PowerPoint show right now. It has a slideshow. It's just a demo one loaded into the PowerPoint right now. Um, so if I go into my PowerPoint itself and I tell it to, let me pull this into our window here. If I go into slideshow, and um, slideshow setup. This is very important. Browse by individual window. We go there. The resolution is uh, 1920 by 1080. And I click that. And now I start this slideshow. It gives me a slideshow in a window. So there's the slideshow in a window. And now I go back into um, OBS. And now it's just showing the slideshow in the window instead. So I click that OK. And now it doesn't show my previous slides. Now over outside the view of what you can see, uh, well, maybe it'll work here. If I click, you know, click go, it just advances to the next slide. So let's do that. We'll do that. Let's uh, exit. Let's start the show and click on, you know, the space bar and it progresses to the next slide. Um, just as if you were presenting on an alternate screen. Now, if I had two screens set up on my computer, I only have one screen at the moment. If I had a second screen, I could play the sides, the slideshow on the second screen, and I could have all my presenter notes on the first screen, and uh, our audience, Zoom, um, or you know, Google Classroom, Google Meet, whatever, uh, they will only see what's in this window here being broadcast out the general public so they wouldn't see my notes um, you can't you know it's you can't really do that very easily with just share screen and zoom this makes it a lot more gives you a lot more control now I can be going between my slot my sketchbook and my PowerPoint I can talk, talk directly to someone um, so on so that's a, it's a pretty cool function um, so let's talk about screen transitions a little bit, or scene transitions. We get, like I said, we have these guys. We can do these. Now, there's another way of progressing through these. We're going to go to Multi View Windowed, and look at this little window here. I have. It's a preview of what's coming up. Okay, so if I click on these guys. I can see visually what I want to pick. So I can see how it's set up. So while I'm in the PowerPoint, I can be switching to a different demonstration. Uh, and I can pull out a different set of paperwork while I'm doing that. And uh, let's say I want, to do, I want to set this one up. So I can have this um, set up in advance. And then I can click to it. And there I have it. So I can frame things while I have my students seeing something different. 
so that is how I set up OBS uh, with my different scenes. I'm going to make some more videos. The next one I'm going to make is how to send OBS to Zoom, because that's the whole point of doing this. And uh, it involves another plugin, which is easy to download and load. Um, but this is how I set this up. Now, something that, uh, that I neglected to say is that we can take this whole thing and we can record what we're doing. I'm going to pull this over here. I can hit start recording. And there it goes. Now I'm recording my OBS presentation. So if you're creating pre-made videos to show people, um, you can use all these uh, setups and functions that I just did, and you can be running your video through OBS. You can be recording it, and then you just play it. And you can use all this switching behind it. So subscribe, uh, click the little bell, uh, Click on the link in my in the description, sign up for my mailing list, and we'll send you more notifications, uh, and we'll teach you some more stuff. Thanks for watching.